Hi right, guys, Shona Sparkles here again. Hello. Anyway, I just thought I'd give you a bit of an update um, on Captain Starkers. He's still not very active on uh, YouTube at the moment. His health's not real good. Um, but we are getting somewhere at least slowly. Um, I said in one of my videos the other day that he had to go and have a scan done on his ribs because he had a growth or something on them. We didn't know what it was. We just suspected it was a growth of some sort, maybe a cyst, which is what I thought. Um, it was a golf ball size. I mean, it wasn't sort of like a, a zit or a pimple or... Um, a boil or anything like that it was full on it was like that round on his rib and I was getting quite uh, worried about it because I didn't know what it was you know and generally I'm pretty bang 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 right with various things you know anyway um he went and had the scan done. Um, the radiographer had said that to him it looked like cartilage had come through and how it happened, I don't know, um, had come through his rib cage. Now he's got cartilage apparently coming through that rib cage. How it's getting there we don't know. Um, he does need to go back to the doctor obviously to work out the next um, point of call what we do next sort of thing um, on the 18th of this month he has to go into hospital he'll be in there for like two days uh, two nights one day he's got to have uh, a colonoscopy done because the first one he did have done, uh, they had to stop because the first time they gave him this uh, stuff to clean him out and well it never worked and normally you're pooping through an eye of a needle, pardon the um, graphic part of that um but it is what it is you know uh so they had to finish doing that procedure the uh colonoscopy um and couldn't go through with it because they couldn't see nothing because it was so cloudy it was a mess but what they did see was a polyp um but the surgeon had said to him that day, we have to get you back, he said, and we may have to admit you for a couple of days so that we can get this stuff pumped into your body so that you can have your bowel cleaned and it'll be nice and clean for when we do the procedure. Anyway, he had asked the doctor, is there anything that he physically can do to help, like, get the bowel clean? He said, no, just keep doing what you're doing now anyway, and that's just eating normally and whatnot, blah, 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 blah. Anyway, so, I mean, I don't mind admitting, even though he and I are not married anymore, I am scared. I'm scared stiff. Um, I still care about him. And uh, to have him go through something like this is not easy. Uh, yeah. Um, so anyway, he goes in on the 18th. Um, and they'll pump him with whatever stuff they give you to clean your bowels out. Um, they'll do that 
for the two days that he's in the hospital and then on the 20th they'll do the procedure the colonoscopy and hopefully find out the root of the problem um, because what had happened was the doctor had organized for him to do in-home bowel screening test which meant that he had to you know do his business and then send it away um, without sounding so gross um, anyway the results got sent to his doctor um, and they said that they had found blood in the stool and it needed to be checked to find out whether it's cancer or colon cancer or whatever that's causing it you know um so yeah it's um been an, an issue that's been going on um so hopefully after the 20th we'll know more um and then i can update you guys as to what's going on and hopefully his health will start to improve once we know what's what um I can remember oh, way back when we first got together it would be nothing for him and I to sit up to three, four, five, six o'clock the next morning and go to bed probably around about five, six o'clock the next morning. Now he's in bed, the earliest he's gone to bed is like 6.30 seven o'clock Australian time he never used to be like that I can't believe it you know it's sort of whatever it is it's draining him and uh, making him very tired yes he's a diabetic yes he's on insulin yes he's on um, tablets for diabetes um, every bone in his body hurts like anything um, his ribs on the left hand side I think it is hurts like crazy he doesn't get relief from the pain he went to the doctor and the doctor said well before giving you anything stronger than Panadol or uh, Kennedy, pardon me, I need to do these x-rays so that we can put in um, to Medicare uh, or not Medicare um, where the doctor rings up gets special permission to get the stronger medication well anyway she done that and because now he's on the stronger medication even though now that he's on it like the endone he only takes that if the pain is so 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 severe that he can't take it anymore he'd rather not take it if he can get away with it but as I said to him if you need it you use it um, because they don't like to do another repeat they like to keep it for a month for you to have that particular tablet for a month um, which is why he can't abuse it um, not that he would anyway um, as I say the pain is so severe I'm not saying he's got cancer because we don't know 100% yet I'm hoping it's not but I am so petrified so guys if you're a Christian and you pray please keep us in your prayers and those that aren't Christians and don't pray keep us in your thoughts 
because everything's welcome at this stage. Um, it's put a bit of a dampener on moving to Tasmania at this point because we don't know what's happening with Cap uh, with Captain Starkers. Um, but like I said, once he's had the op, um, any follow-up appointments, he can get it done down in Tasmania anyway. It's just getting this bit done before we go. So we still don't know when we're going. Um, he wants me to go for my provisional licence, which I was meant to go for a lesson on Thursday and couldn't because my health. Um, I ended up with a gastric 24-hour bug type thing. So that put a dampener on that. And, uh, yeah, I just was not feeling very well myself. Um, yeah, so nothing's going to the way we want it. But there's always a plan or someone else has got a plan for us. And obviously it's not the right time for us to be moving just yet. So just have to wait and be patient. Um, but with Captain Starkus, we don't know what's going on as yet. We won't know until after the 20th. Um, and then I can give you another update on that. Um, what else? Oh. I did do a live stream tonight. So I shared on that if you didn't catch it but I'll share it here I'm going to be a grandma again for the seventh time my daughter BB who does have a channel on YouTube um, is expecting her seventh child we don't know whether it's boy or girl yet um, so yeah, I am thrilled to bits. Um, at least I'll be in, well, I'm hoping <laughs> to be in Tasmania after she's had bub or be, well, well before she's had bub. Um, so yeah, um, that'll be very nice for her. I'm hoping it's a little girl because she's got two girls Beacon, Xavier, Storm, and Abel. She's got four boys. Four boys and two girls. So if she can get another girl, at least the girls won't be outdone. They'll be outdone by one. <laughs> anyway, guys, that's about it. Um, I just wanted to give you a quick update. I'm sorry the video quality on my laptop is poopy. Um, I did try to use my new webcam on this laptop but the drivers for it uh, I don't understand it I mean I did update the drivers for it but every time I go to use it through the uh, Logitech um, uh, app thing um, it doesn't load for some reason I don't know I don't understand it that's beyond me like like I said I'm a dinosaur I don't understand these things unless I'm shown I don't know um I mean I used my webcam on the live stream which was fantastic um but I look like I've got my face looks like it's got inches and inches and thickness and thickness upon thickness of foundation on it which I don't wear makeup so yeah go figure and then parts of it looks like a sketch like when you sketch somebody and you can see the real fine lines and that in their faces and stuff that's what I'm seeing on this side of the camera and that's horrible I don't like it but anyway what are you going to do Anyway, guys, I've prattled on long enough. Uh, I'm going to end this and get it uploaded so that well, you guys can watch this. And um, 
we'll talk in the next one. Peace, guys.